purchasing your new Extended Life iPod battery from FastMac. First, lay out the battery and the tools provided. Then, make sure your iPod is turned off. Flip the hold switch until the orange indicator strip is visible. With the iPod in your hand, gently press down and to the left on the right edge of the top case with both thumbs, while moving the bottom case to the right with your fingers. This will create a small gap between the top and bottom case, allowing you to insert the pry tool. Slowly work the pry tool around the entire iPod, except for where the hold switch resides. You will feel the tabs holding the metal bottom case release. Lay the iPod on its face, then carefully remove the bottom casing and lay it over to one side. Be very careful. The hold switch and headphone board ribbon is still attached. Carefully lift up the hard drive by the right-hand side and slowly work it free from the connector cable. Set the drive to the side. Remove the torque screw next to the battery cable. Using the round pry tool, insert the pry edge between the top case and the right slot next to the battery. Pry up very slowly until you hear and feel the glue underneath give way. Lift up on the battery, guiding the battery cable out from under the logic board. Hold down the logic board while carefully disconnecting the battery. Take your new True Power battery out of its clear plastic packaging. Do not remove the gold wrapping. This is not packaging material. Carefully attach the battery cable. Reinsert the screw you removed earlier. Reattach the hard drive as shown with the label facing down. Close the bottom case while lining up the hold switch on the logic board with the hold switch on the bottom case. Press firmly on each edge, not in the middle, to close the iPod. Flip the hold switch and start your iPod. That's it. You're done.